Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some 1x6, which is of course made by Xeno. There was a patch recently that said user ban, and now I'm just sitting here and I'm wondering, who got banned and what did they do? <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what crimes were committed that a single person warranted a specific patch just to get them banned? Um, but anyway... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play some Ogre Magi today for no good reason. I am still quite sick and do not feel well, so that's really the reason, actually. And um, we'll see what we can do. Also, I don't know in what order I'm uploading these videos, and my brain is mush right now. So maybe I haven't uploaded the other video in which I said that I'm sick yet, so this may not make too much sense that I said that I am still sick. But point being, I am sick. I don't know if you can tell. It's just the flu or something, I don't know, nothing serious, but I just feel like shit. Um, also, if the title of this video is really weird, you can thank chat for that. And Mickey, who I think is insisting on the title being uh, winning 1x6 with my ass which is maybe not the best search result title, but um, anyway. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get into the game. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom, <laughs> and now I uh, missed the first wave worth of last hits as a result, and now we are starting the game pretty far behind. Um, it's a challenge! Chal challenge run! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It's not good. This is not great. Not not the best start, um, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I've been drinking a lot of tea uh, because I don't feel so well. Well, I drink a lot of tea anyway, but particularly the past little bit. So, gotta go around to the bathroom. Oh my god, I gotta already go back. Oh, this is so bad. I'm so far behind. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen a worse start in this game mode. It's okay. This is again challenge run. That's that's what it is. It's like uh, one of those, you know, like Dark Souls videos and like Elden Ring videos. Where it's just like, can I beat Elden Ring with my ass? And then the answer is always yes somehow. And and that's what we're doing today, right? Can I <laughs> can I beat Dota? <laughs> You know what I mean. Uh, anyway. Okay, you know, get that over there. So, uh, yes, uh, we'll see. I, I want to go for the uh, Ignite build today. I, I don't know how good it is. I don't think it's going to be very good. But uh, it seems kind of fun. And looking at, at the lobby, right, it's a bunch of kind of like tanky-ish heroes, right? And, and we'll see, we'll see. I think Ignite might be okay. It's kind of, kind of got a fun thing that makes it so that ignites stack and whenever I attack a target with ignite on it the cooldown reduces by one second so I can just like keep attacking and like get more and more ignites and just like poof. anyway <clears throat> please stop this video can I beat Dota with my ass <laughs> I, I think the answer to that is gonna be a definitive uh, no yes maybe a definite definitive maybe Alright, please stop. Let me just attack you. There you go. Good job, Olga. Alright, uh, this is terrible. Alright, refresh. Yes! Two seconds ignite duration of the target dispels ignite. It receives a stun for 1.5 seconds. Perfect! Alright, we're doing ignite stuff. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Then let's get ourselves some mana boots. And, uh,. You know, we'll, we'll see. There you go. Okay, in boots. <coughs> Very good. Running over here. And then coming in, in and throwing the number fire on this. I mean, this is honestly a pretty good ability for the early game, just because it does a good amount of damage. Um, okay, pick up this. I think I get the cooldown reduction, right? I think I get the cooldown reduction, because the cooldown reduction... Um, reduces our cooldowns. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Great insights today, like always. Um, and uh, with the reduced cooldowns, we'll be uh, in great shape. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry for the coughing. 
unfortunately, I have uh, encountered it first in my Nuzlocke run here, and so I can't get rid of it. Alright, let me get the bounty. And uh, then, I'm not actually sure what we want to build. It is... What is it? It is Ignite Burning Interval. Your attacks have a chance to apply Ignite. Each attack against Ignite target increases the ability's damage. It's just like, we kind of want to like be able to get attacks in. To get like a Kaya and a Sage. Alright, throw this in here. No, I don't like this golem. Kill the golem. Fuck you. Get some fire. Oh no. Alright, good. <clears throat> no. She is suffering, dude. Got it. Good. So, ignite burning effect. Stacks and attacks reduce its cooldown. So this is where we get ourselves multicast, of course. That allows us to cast more ignites. Um, we gotta have kind of a look at... Okay, so it's a viscous nasal goo bristlebag. Which is actually a filthy bristlebag, so that's gonna be terrifying. Um, <clears throat> and... Ultimate Shadow Fiend. Oh, we need DKB. <sighs> Alright. I, I hate it. It's so so annoying, I gotta be honest. Like, because against... Against Ultimate Shadow Fiend, you just gotta buy BKB, like, first item every game. And it's a bit irritating because I don't, you know, I don't necessarily wanna just, like, buy BKB as my first item as an Ogre Magi. But uh, ultimately, if I don't have it, I'm just gonna die anytime I see the Shadow Fiend. And if I do have it, I can probably kill the Shadow Fiend anytime I see him. And, you know. Probably better to get the kill. Okay, so the <coughs> ignite multicast things maybe not working out super well because, like, spreads it to you know, some bad positions. But uh, it's okay. All right, so ignite is maxed out now. Does 50 damage. Uh, what upgrades do we have? Damage increase, reduces magic resistance and armor and healing. That's the thing that I really want. I want that healing effect. Because that effect seems just really quite fantastic. Uh, I will get more spell I steal. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> no, Midas doesn't work the same way it does in normal Dota. Unfortunately, cannot just buy a Midas and abuse that with Ogre. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty nice, but uh, not gonna be possible here. Okay, I'm coming in here, throw this guy down. And then we need to deal with... Ooh. So that's some stacks, right? Hello. I'm just gonna, you know, take myself some of those. Okay, 20 Ignite damage. Uh, so, Ignite has quite a lot of damage already. Like, 70 damage on this ability is pretty significant. Right, because keep in mind, like, it's really easy to get multiple stacks. This guy has two stacks. So, it's pretty good. Let's go. Out of Midas here. I used to always make an effort to go into the center and take down one of the big creeps with it. But it's just like the trip, you know, like moving all the way into the, the center of the map. It just takes a long time and I'm not convinced that that's actually worth it. <clears throat> Alright, we'll take this. Give myself a bounty. Oh no. Alright. Get myself some distance. <laughs> One second, I need need some tissues here. Ooh. Your tower is under attack. <laughs> I get movement speed. That sounds great, actually. 
More movement, so we can move around the map a little bit better. Alright. So here's the question. Do we get any mana from any of this? This regenerates health. No, we can't get mana. But I, I guess we're gonna get a Bloodstone anyway, right? Like, that just feels like a very obvious item to get. And that's gonna be some mana. There we go. Each time the Ignite deals damage, a 30% chance I will heal. <clears throat> that seems just fantastic, because, like, honestly... It's gonna be dealing a lot of damage. Look at that! What a good video! Great video, buddy! You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up! And I really want to let you know that I appreciate it. Anyway, I'm gonna go my merry way without leaving a mean YouTube comment. I'm not gonna mess with Shadowfiend right now. It's just not... Not a great idea, right? We wanna deal with Shadowfiend after we get BKB, not before. Alright, fire burning these guys out. <coughs> there it is. And next up. Uh, hmm, it's actually a good question. I just get Bloodstone? It's probably a bad idea. What should I get? Chat. Any ideas? It's just straight up Bloodstone the way to go? Get e blade? No, I need to attack, right? I need to actually get hits, and I kind of think like a Kai and a Sage might not be good. That might not be bad. <laughs> Don't mind. Thanks. That's very helpful. That's that's just that's just a great idea. I get attack speed. I, I care about attack speed at all, right? <clears throat> Oh wow, I'm just getting premised on you. <coughs> I also feel like I want the Scotty in the long run so people can't just run away from me. I'm not sure how much I need to build attack speed because we do have our E. Um, hmm. Could also get like a Diffuser Blade. It's gonna be a little bit of attack speed by itself and then not. Ah, you know what, let's just get the Bloodstone. I don't know what to build, so I think I'll just build something that I know I want to use for sure. Right? Like, I am definitely 100% of the time... Oh, this is not working out. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, definitely overestimating my capabilities there. That Bristleback just annihilated me. <clears throat> All right, there's a Shadow Fiend now as well. Aghanim's already, that's pretty quick. No, Shadow Fiend, I think that's a really bad idea. You'll just die to the bristle. Yeah. I could have used BKB, I guess, but it wouldn't have made much of a difference. After the bristle back, kind of got a bunch of stacks on me. I was gonna die anyway. Yeah, I'll just put down a defensive ward for what it's worth. I should just be using them. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. And let's go back. <coughs> There's another way to reduce our cooldowns, which is to just kind of like half less cooldowns in the first place, right? So maybe, um,. Octarine core or something. Something to look at. When I mean, into your also. Secondary attributes are nice because it's a hundred health and some armor, which is overall probably more survivability. Alright, we'll get the bounty here. Put this bad boy down. I gotta get uh levels. It's actually kind of a problem, honestly. I'm only level eleven. I feel like this. So Ogre Magi as a whole, I've played like a few of his builds now, he just needs levels way more than like any other character in this mode. Because you need the multicast, right? Without multicast you just aren't that strong. So to get multicast though, 
I need to just be a high level. There's no other way around it. There's no secret technique that I can do instead. Just gotta level up. <clears throat> Should just go back. All right. Good news. Uh, we are closing in pretty quickly on our bloodstone. We should get like a Mjolnir. Each attack against ignite targets increases the abilities damage by 10% and the slow by 5%. So I don't really need a Scotty, I guess. You know, I said earlier that that's something we want. But is it? Because this is gonna be a pretty potent slow, just as long as I get some attacks in. <clears throat> Which admittedly is not the easiest condition to meet, but, you know, it's doable. Okay, now it reduces magic resistance and armor. Yeah, I don't know where this bristleback is. I'm, I'm guessing it's just being like really aggressive somewhere else on the map. But I've been having this area pretty much to myself, which is nice. It's very convenient. <laughs> Definitely gives me an opportunity to kind of get some money. This is maxed out now. So if we multicast this, right, we get multiple bloodlust stacks. Bunch of attack speed. Okay. Each ignite deals damage. Or each ignite has a chance to heal. So that's actually like quite a lot of healing, isn't it? All right, bounty rune, and let's go back. Huh. Okay. <coughs> Patches. Ooh, ooh, right click. I feel like I need, like, a Hammond's Halberd to stop people from just attacking me. It's also gonna be, like, a good amount of survivability. Probably is this ultimate. I think I'm getting a Heaven's All Bird. I want to try to find somebody. I've not really been fighting. I mean, part of that is just because I don't actually want to. Our opponents uh, are scary. And I'm not that strong. Okay, that's... I mean, that's fine. Alright, I gotta get a few hits in. BKB, alright. No, stop running! <laughs> okay. Well, ooh, there's a punch now. Hmm. There's a lot of heroes here, actually. Okay. Just getting some hits in. No, put me down. Put me put me put me down. Put me down. Put me down. Okay, so here's this again. It didn't multicast. <laughs> Come back, please. <gasps> no, no, I really needed that. <laughs> Alright, he'll throw in this. We got two. But I, I just lose, I just die, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, the pudge. Oh, the pudge. Oh, the pudge. Oh, the pudge. Your tower 
Yeah, that's always the most painful thing when you're just like a weak middle of the pack hero <coughs> and you manage to find somebody else you can actually kill. And then some of them strong nerds show up and just take you down, steal the kill. Alright. Struggles of getting kills. I mean, all of the dot base builds are like this, right? Like, they all like this. The Queen of Pain uh, can't get any kills either. <laughs> Queen of Pain, all good. It's just, the, it's really just a problem of like, okay, so I apply my stuff to you. And then I need to, like, somehow outlast you. Alright, oh no, it's just way too much. Okay. Get all distance there. Good news is that we don't die super easily. Like, at least we got that going for us, right? It's kind of... We can take some hits, at the very least. I mean, part of this is just being Ogre, who is an absolute chunky big boy who can take some hits. But then also, of course, the fact that this is healing helps. Alright. You know, maybe I should just be taking it easy until I get my... Until I get my level 18. Right? Then I can get the 4 times multicast. And that'll make things just a lot easier. Okay, 12 attack speed. I'm kind of starting to think maybe I shouldn't have gotten a bloodstone. Like maybe we should just build attack speed. Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna try to kill kill the primal beast. I gotta get a kill, dude. <laughs> oh, wow, that was fast. Just like immediate. All right, no, don't do it. Oh, God, oh come on. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get this kill then. <laughs> I'm just gonna beat this dude up. Hey! <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll take it. Ah, oh, they just keep taking my kills, dude. Right, I'm gonna get myself the multicast increased chance. That seems good. Overall, I think that's better. Right? Like, getting a kill on the Shadow Fiend is better than getting a kill on the Primal Beast. It would have been nice to get both, obviously, but hey. And yeah, you can see, like, BKB, it just kind of invalidates Shadow Fiend a bit. Hello. Alright. Just gonna hit you. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your attacks have a 15% chance to apply ignite. Thank you. And the minus 0.3 seconds ignite burning interval. Those seem really important. Those seem really valuable. Okay, I will get. More spell I steal. What do I buy next? Um, part of me wants to just get a diffuse. I think diffuser blade is good. I am not joking. I think it's genuinely, like, probably amazing. But uh, echo spear so we can get close. I mean, that seems synergistic, yeah. Hmm. I like the fusel because like we wanna just kind of like grind away at them, right? We wanna just like very slowly chip them down. 
And then it's gonna be beneficial to have them burned out of mana. I think the Fusel is the way to go. It's also a bunch of really nice stats. Like, it's gonna be some attack speed, right? Just because of the agility. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go for the Fusel Blade and... I don't really care if it looks a bit silly. I think it makes sense. I don't think we need Octarine Core. Because we're gonna try to just attack and lower the cooldown that way. Yeah, the Bristleback is somewhere else on the map entirely. Alright. We'll grab this. Hello, friends. <clears throat> Wonder how else I can get more attack speed. Like, what's a what's a really like heavy attack speed item? Just like ton of attack speed. Okay, do we want like an AC? I think I'll just get Scotty though. I know I said earlier, yes, Scotty, and then I changed my mind and said no, Scotty. But I think I'm back on yes, Scotty. Like, I feel like my entire strategy here is just gonna be to slowly beat the shit out of people. Right? Just very, just run up to them and very gently but firmly beat them up. And uh, for that, I think a Scotty actually makes a lot of sense. And it's also going to be some attack speed. Like, I don't think we need to invest super much into attack speed. I think we just want a little bit. Hmm. I'll get the secondary attributes, agilities, attack speed. Okay. So... Queen of Pain is probably not happening. Primal Beast is definitely possible. Do I try to kill Primal Beast? I mean, it's a little rude. I always feel mean about knocking somebody out. But I think that's just what we have to do here. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, alright. Primal Man, please take it easy on me. I will try to kill the Pudge. Wait, am I winning? I am. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. But I survived this. I'm quite tanky. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. Weird. Uh, not what I thought was going to happen. Uh, but I did just kind of slap the shit out of the Pudge. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm already here, so I just kind of feel like I gotta keep going. I do like this Diffuser Blade. Damn! Oh, <laughs> wait a second, is this actually, like, really strong? <laughs> What's going on now? Like, what happened? I need to... I'm gonna get the free cooldown reduction. I will take down these um, buildings and then teleport out. <clears throat> Primal Beast isn't gonna die here. And I'm not really planning on like finishing him. That's okay. Alright, so I have a Scotty now. Uh, my biggest concern is still the Ogre Magi. Which I don't believe there's really anything I can do about him. <laughs> no, you did die! Wow, that's a surprise. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do about him. But, uh, I suppose that's fine. We're just gonna, like, wait until minute 40? Sorry, Ogre Magi. Did I say Ogre Magi? Shut up. <laughs> my biggest concern is Ogre Magi. Yes, my biggest concern is myself. My only opponent is my own mentality. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? <laughs> no, I meant the bristle butt. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sick. Leave me alone. 
<laughs> yeah, after we got ourselves the level 25, it also feels like we're just a lot stronger. Because I have a lot of these upgrades. Plus 20 secondary attributes. That's actually like... Like a filthy amount, isn't it? Yeah, 15% cooldown reduction. I'll take it. Alright, well, we have one of these bad boys. Let's give it a look. Maybe we say hello to the Shadow Fiend. I think we do. I think we do. Alright. Hello. Oh, let me... Oh! No way. No, oh my god. Are you... Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I think you're dead. <laughs> uh, but now I can't actually do anything. Each attack against the Ignite Tog increases the ability's damage by 10% and the slow by 5%. This is why Balmy fears himself. This is why I am the most uh, dangerous hero to everybody, including me. Because it doesn't matter how much you trap me, you will die anyway. Okay, uh, well that was kind of weird. Uh, hello, I'm back. Look, I want this building. Alright, just punch him. This is stupid. <laughs> like, genuinely, actually a little filthy, isn't it? Oh, come on. Alright. Really gonna go for this? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, really? I got the fire out, so that should do a good amount of damage at least. Like, these aren't gonna kill my base, but... Damn. I took some damage there. So. There's like a whole bunch of stuff that we still want. Right? Like we want um, Aghanim's Shard. I think I'll just start with that. Because with this I get the shield, right? And particularly against like Pudge. That's gonna be relevant. <clears throat> Hello. Let's do this. What is this? It's an illegal item. Alright, I'm just gonna just gonna keep hitting you. <laughs> Can you Queen of Fame, we are we are busy here. Oh my god! Why why am I never getting kills, dude? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna get this dude. There you go. Alright. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. I'm just like doing something wrong on some fundamental level. That people keep just stealing my kills. Alright, I'll get a respawner. Hello. Oh, I gotta go. Ooh. Alright. Ah, that was stupid. I did get the building at least, but it's still stupid. Oh, I'm, I'm a little tilted. I'm a, I'm a little upset. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just like, why so stupid bullshit? <laughs> no. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's finally max this one out. I've been kind of skipping out on it a bit. So, I have my uh, movement speed upgrade here, my essence of speed. So, I can get rid of my boots, right? Um. <coughs> I'm not entirely sure what we want instead, but I'm guessing something attack speed related. So maybe just the bash it. I mean, that doesn't doesn't give me any attacks. Wait, really? Bia killed the Bristleback? Holy shit, dude. 
I'm afraid of the bristlebug. I'm literally Bia also killed me. It's like a fat attack speed item. Hmm. Could just get lightnings. Or maybe I do actually finally end up buying the Echo Spear. Is that a bad idea? Maybe? Probably. Probably is a bad idea, right? Yeah, I thought this build was gonna be like more of a casting build, but it turns out we are actually just very collecting. Please have mercy on me. I'm just, I'm just a poor old ogre magi trying his absolute best, and I don't like that I'm like permanently stunned here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> There's no way I get through that mana pool of my diffuse blade either. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be the one that we need to figure out a way to deal with it. I guess Echo Saber is probably the way to go. Passive Diffuser. Oh, can I purge Quill Spray? I don't think you can purge Quill Spray. I think I'm gonna try the Echo Spear. Or I could get boots. Like, literally, just go for like super boots. Boots of Trap 2. Which is like. But there's no way I can outrun the. Um. The Bristlebacks intense. Um. Intense slow. So cross is also something that's on the table, of course, but I just don't think it would actually do very much. Well, oh, Bristleback has to buy back. Wait, what happened? Oh my god. Maybe I should just wait until, like, somebody else kills the Bristleback for me. Because, like, I don't think I can do it, but I'm pretty sure I can kill everybody else. Did the Bristleback not buy back? Oh, what an idiot. Yep. No. Oh, it's that. It's a huge mistake. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, do I just backdoor him? Let's have a look how much HP is left on those buildings. I imagine it's not very much. I'll do oh no, he's dead. Sorry, you gotta buy back there. You got you just, you just can't do that. No, that was obviously a huge blunder. Okay. <coughs> so that's good. We don't have to worry about the bristleback anymore. Get more movement speed. Echo spear coming in. Check what this is. Alright, base the saber. No. Oh, I got it. Yes. Sick. Yes! Another one. Yes! <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Alright. Shaman cast a spell, target item, I have a chance to release a fireball. When your health drops below 30%, you knock back all enemies within 700 AoE and cast fire blast on them. But do I want to knock them back? I'm gonna get the resurrection thing. I'm not convinced I want to knock people back. I wouldn't want to do that. Um... This increases my movement speed, that seems okay. Is 
Okay. <coughs> just keep hitting her. Right? Just just keep hitting. Alright. Oh no! Why do you do this to me? Oh come on! No! <laughs> Pudge can steal it. Your tower is under attack. <sighs> oh, and now there's a Shadow Fiend in my base. Alright. Uh, we'll be fine. This, is, this wave isn't as dangerous. Of pain is done. Okay, um. Oh! Wow. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Minute 40. Pirate hot, pirate hot, pirate, pirate hot. Pirate hot, pirate hot, pirate hot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So this was a bit of a silly game, wasn't it? Oh no! Pirate out, pirate out, pirate out! Okay, Stygian is, I guess, okay. I'm not like vibing a lot with the Stygian, but I'll take it. We still have one more item we can get. Pirate out, pirate out, pirate out! Come on, one time! Quick, quick! Right, there's one more neutral. Fuck! Hurry! Oh, we didn't get it. Alright. Just buy a moon shard, right? That's a little disappointing. No pirate heart for us. What are you doing? <coughs> Meteor hammer. I think I just keep my stuggy in now. Alright. Alright, just hit her. Are you dead? I'm in. I told you I was bad. No idea how I did so well. Well, that didn't I'm take proud. very long. You two people, come join the stream and try this out. Alright, yeah, we can take some hits. I don't know if we can take all of that. Ooh, damn! Alright, this is turning out silly, isn't it? Got him. Nice! Well, I don't know what to make of this game. <laughs> Oh, that was that was a bit strange. That was a bit of a weird one. Um, but you know what? We won, and I am, I am sick, and I I'm just gonna say that's good enough. <laughs> that's just that. Uh, hey, we had some fun with the W build. Although I I do want to say I do think I just played it completely wrong at first, right? Like, I think it's just a right click build. It's a right click build in disguise, like. It's not really a right click. You don't really need to do damage by a right clicking. You just need to attack quickly to like build up the damage. But then it does quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, also, I'm really lucky that the Bristleback just died to the siege wave. That was great. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.